Research and innovation in Futuris. Welcome on board an aircraft unlike any other. It's been designed to increase safety on small planes. And the stakes are high. At one incident every 10,000 flight hours in Europe, small aircraft have a much worse safety record than big airliners. So European researchers have taken a challenging flight. Above the Austrian Alps is what seems to be an ordinary small aircraft. But it holds a secret. The flight controls on board are not manual. Instead, electronic signals and computers determine the flight pattern. The pilot basically flies the aircraft via a computer. This is what is universally known as a digital fly-by-wire flight system. Besondere an diesem Flugzeug, an diesem speziellen Flugzeug ist jetzt, dass wir what makes this aircraft very special is the fact that we have equipped it with a fully functional fly-by-wire system. That means that most of the flying functions are controlled by the digital system. That includes the three axes of the plane's movements, vertical, longitudinal and horizontal, but also the pitch elevator, the ailerons and the side rudder. Even the engines are controlled by the fly-by-wire system. The system has greatly contributed to flight safety and has been in use for decades in big airliners and business jets. But until now, it's been seen as too heavy, too large and too expensive to be installed in small aircraft. But then scientists in a European Union research project took a hand. If we assume that we want to make flying as easy as driving a car, we can't of course expect that every pilot will be highly trained and will show a high level of different capabilities while flying. So basically we have to provide these less experienced pilots with functions and operation modes conceived to make these aircraft safer. And to achieve that, scientists did some sophisticated research. At this aerospace laboratory in Germany, scientists work to develop hardware and software able to guarantee a safe, automated and autonomous way of flying. To do it, they had to create electronic systems which could autonomously overcome any failures in the aircraft's functions, without the pilot even noticing that a critical failure had occurred. Let's imagine that the steering control in this plane suddenly fails. If that happened, the plane could be at risk of losing direction and eventually crashing. We can simulate that failure. You see now, this module is turned off. The system understands the risks and changes in its configuration. New orders are sent through a different electronic path to different mechanical actuators that will recover the control of the aircraft. The next step was to embed this complex software into a reduced light hardware adapted to the limited load capacity of small aircraft. But before installing the digital equipment in a real aircraft, a complex simulation had to be done in a unique aeronautical flight facility. Here in the Netherlands, researchers tested the digital flight control system in a simulator. It was indeed able to ensure the safety of virtual flights in simulated difficult flying conditions, without the test pilots actively intervening. When you hit turbulence and wind and wind gusts, uh, it's well, really hard work to keep uh, the aircraft going uh, the right way. 
and uh, well, they implemented a fly-by-wire system uh, that really allows just to control directly the, the attitude of the, the aircraft, and that's much easier. And you, you can also, the minute I switch it on, it can sort of relax and, well, it, it's now, it's not automatic, but I only have to correct for, for, for small attitude uh, changes that I want, and I do not have to correct for all the, 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 the changes that are caused by the gusts and the wind. The system, researchers say, even autonomously keeps the aircraft away from dangerous flight patterns. The computer keeps the aircraft from uh, entering a difficult or unsafe flight condition. And for example, uh, a classical aircraft might easily have a too large a bank angle and arrive in that difficult flight condition, or the speed may go down too much so that the aircraft would enter a stall, and uh, often enough that, enters, uh, that results in, an, uh, in a crash. And uh, the new flight control system, based on fly wire technology and computers, uh, it prevents the aircraft of, for entering uh, unsafe flight conditions. Back in Austria, the first test flights of the final prototype were considered a success by the scientists, who are now looking ahead. Our research has clearly shown that this system is a good way to significantly reduce the accident rate of small airplanes. By permanently assisting pilots via this fly-by-wire system, accidents can be avoided. And I can well imagine that in 10 years' time, planes of this scale and size will be operated much more safely than today. Manufacturers of small aircraft see this reinforced safety as an ideal marketing tool to seduce potential new customers. Die Systeme werden eben immer leistungsfähiger, immer zuverlässiger. The systems are becoming more and more efficient and reliable. We are therefore now in a position where we can assemble systems that are highly efficient and at the same time affordable for customers. I am sure we can expand our market once we prove that these new systems can contribute considerably to the safety of our planes. Researchers are now considering how to use the same digital flight control not only for cruising but for a bigger challenge – takeoff and landing.